the show where John Romano, BSA, and I vent our frustrations with the world. This week joining us, special guest, Big Sean Allen, all the way from New Jersey. Of course, John Romano on the show. And today's topic is going to be about misinformation regarding the keto diet. As you know, uh, I'm a big proponent of the ketogenic diet. I know John Romano is with his clients. And of course, Big Sean Allen has had a tremendous success with the ketogenic diet. So I thought, who better to talk about this topic than all three of us? Uh, guys, you know, a lot of the misinformation that's out there is on these idiots who go on YouTube and have no science background whatsoever, and they take this, these bro terms that I know, John, you and I, and I know Sean probably, it drives him crazy too, uh, like to throw out there to sound like they're knowledgeable. Uh, you know, what's going on with society, Big Sean Allen? Why does everyone have to act like they're very knowledgeable by using terms that they have no idea what they mean? <laughs> you know why, babe. They, they're chasing that paper, my man. They're chasing that dollars. They're hustling <laughs> out there. You know now, if you ain't street smart enough to catch on to it, you're going to get taken to the cleaners. Because the motherfuckers is filtering their pictures. Yeah. They're doing everything to make it look like they're Mr. Olympia. So, you know, the general public, they ain't fully aware of this shit. You know, they... They see somebody's abs, they see somebody's little arms that's been filtered all the way to the max, right? Are those Never real arms, before. Sean? <laughs> I don't think you have to. <laughs> that, John, I don't think you have to doubt that, guys. Why do we live in this, uh, as my dad would say, paper mache society where everyone's trying to, like, you know, fake who they are, fake credentials, fake pictures? It, 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 it's almost, it's starting to get really aggravating. Two yeah, words. It must suck on your end, Dave, because like I said, you being a, a positive influence in the bodybuilding community, yeah. and you know, you got a lot of competition out there with the vlogs and everything like that. I know that shit must fucking drive you crazy when you're going, I ain't going to say nobody's name because we ain't going to give them no free publicity, <laughs> but you know, you go on other channels and they swear they got so much knowledge and science and they know everything from, yeah. from keto diet to how many carbs to how many fats. And it's a shame because when you look at their profiles and their pictures, the motherfuckers look like tennis players. <laughs> they're, not even, they're not even something that you would look up to. Sorry. You know, and that's what's mind boggling to me. You know, I give credit where it's due. I don't mind. Everybody got to hustle. But don't portray yourself to be something that you're not. It's gonna come back to it's gonna come back to bite you in the ass in the long run. You can't you only can fake what's so long before yeah. the real before the realness catches up to you. That's right. So keep so keep pretending to be somebody that you're not. Only people that's going to look up to you is the people that ain't shit. <laughs> Bottom line. Because the real people, they're going to go to the real advice. They're going to go to the knowledgeable people. Like Dave, like John. You know? Like Chris Aceto. Like, you know? It's a bunch of guys out there with knowledge. But when I look on these YouTube channels, they got so many followers, so many likes, so many comments. And in the general public, in the real world, not online, in the real world, you go to the expo, the motherfuckers is non-existent. Nobody, <laughs> they're non-existent in the real world. They could be at Food Town shopping. Nobody acknowledges them. But on their page, the motherfuckers got a platform where they fucking, they God's gift. And to each his own, do what makes you happy. But I ain't with that fake shit. I'm a real guy. That's why a lot of your, your listeners don't like me because I call it like I see it. <laughs> John? <laughs> Two words. Social media. Yeah. Which has become really the bane of, of the existence of many because their lives revolve around what's contained in that social media account. So, you know, the, and, and the, everybody's going after likes. They want as many likes as they can possibly get. People buy likes, believe right. it or not. I'm sure. 15,000 at a clip. You know, the, the, the more likes you have, you know, the, the bigger a profile you have, the bigger a dog you think you are in the show. But that's not true because and, you know, it's dangerous because some of these guys come up with these the guys who are running slin, one of my favorites. Okay? <laughs> they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Absolutely no idea. Oh, you got to eat a bunch of carbs and then you take insulin, you know. That's just not how it works. Yeah. You know, it's very, it's a, as you know, it's a very precise process. You got to be really careful or mm -hmm. you can fall into a coma. You could possibly die. Right. You know, right. 
And then you got this fucking moron who just who bought 40,000, 45,000 likes. And he thinks he's, he's the new guru king on 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 social media, yeah. on a YouTube channel. He's got, a, you know, all these fake views and he's perceived by one or two people who stumble across him as a knowledgeable guy. But it's bullshit. I know. The guy doesn't You're, know anything. Yeah. You know what? The, the, the sad truth is that, you know, I don't really care what other people think or say. But I, I get sucked into this into this vacuum of social media and, and YouTube people, and I feel like no matter how much content we put out on RX Muscle, I'm never putting out enough. I can't go to sleep at night because I'm like, maybe I should have made another couple of videos, because it's like you, it's like this, you, it's like an arms race almost. But I try to when I see, when people send me certain videos that irk me, that I realize are really. Uh, doing a disservice knowledge wise, I find that I have to do a rebuttal. So Iron Rage is, is our opportunity to kind of to voice that, you know, disapproval with certain stuff. There was a guy, I'm not going to mention who he is because I don't want anyone to even give him any hits, but he did this thing on why ketogenic diets are dangerous. He like he gave a couple reasons and I wanted to just go over a couple of them and, and, and kind of debunk them just to let people know that because these people hear these terms like keto flu. What's keto? <laughs> have you heard this for, for this word keto flu? That, it's floating around. I have guys that say, Dave, I know you do the ketogenic diet. What do you do for keto flu? I'm like, I don't know, uh, uh, NyQuil and, uh, and go to bed early? I don't know. What's keto flu? Keto flu, they, it's really not a flu. What it is is, you know, the first three days when you switch your body into ketosis, your brain is looking for glucose. You're not giving it glucose. It takes 72 hours before the brain will switch its metabolism and start using fat or ketones as a fuel source. During that three days, you might get a little like goofy. You know, you, you per, per, physically you perform right, but your brain doesn't have a fuel source, so you, you feel a little goofy. That's what they're calling keto flu. And the term flu is, is a terrible term because it implies that it's a painful, uncomfortable, unhealthy process that you're going to be going through. And a lot of people think that it lasts the entire time you're on a ketogenic diet. So to me, that's, that's misrepresentative and, it, and it's very, um, I guess you could say, a dangerous thing to put out there. And it just sounds catchy enough that, oh, you don't want to do a ketogenic diet. You'll get the flu, right? I mean, who wants the flu? I don't want the flu, right, John? I, I tell them two weeks. I say, yeah. it's gonna, you're going to feel like shit for two weeks. So it's three or four like days. Feel like yeah. Shit only for like three or four days. Yeah. So like, so I, so they think they're Superman by coming I'm, in and oh, under yeah. promise, overproduce. Exactly, exactly. So, <laughs> so you know, but th there, there's so much. The misinformation on this is just horrendous. And and also, you know, these guys try to make a name for themselves by coining phrases. Keto flu is absolutely retarded. It's the most <laughs> it's probably one of the stupider things I've ever heard. And that's saying something. So, um, you know, the uninformed, the, the misinformed informing the uninformed is a reg is a recipe for disaster, yeah. no matter what you're talking about. Right. Um, it, it's something as innocuous as this. It's just ridiculous that anybody would try to shy anybody away from the ketogenic diet because they're going to get the keto flu, <laughs> which doesn't exist. OK, uh, you know, what, what about what about keto breath? How about that one? You know, you get the flowery breath, you know, yeah, when you're yeah. in ketosis. How about keto breath? Let's talk about let's let's talk about that one. That's yeah. that's, that's, that's that's good breath. That's like they should they should bottle that, right? And put it in like a little uh, mouthwash bottle. Big Sean <laughs> Allen, have, have you ever gotten the keto flu and had to go into the emergency room because of it? <laughs> you did a ketogenic diet. I had the flu. I had pneumonia. I ain't putting no keto in front of it. Imagine me going to the fucking. To, to Walgreens and say I need a Kato flu shot. Fuck, I look like something wrong with me. Fuck, I look like asking somebody. Yo, girl, hey, hi, doc. I'm not feeling well today. A friend of mine that I was training with, I think he has the Kato flu. Is there something you can recommend for a Kato flu? That <laughs> motherfucker look at me like I'm really bewildered. So. Yeah, what's wrong yeah, with this guy? contagious. Yeah. Keto <laughs> yeah. flu contagious? Yeah, you don't give it, don't kiss your girlfriend while you got the Kato flu. I'll tell flu. you what the fuck is this. Go over there to the pharmacy and get you some Dura flu and call it a night. You got the flu. It ain't no Kato flu. You got the flu. Go take you some Dura flu and call it a night. If you kiss your girlfriend with it, she's gonna get keto mononucleosis. Right. There you go. <laughs> I told them don't do the keto. Now. 
Another thing that people complain about is that you're going to get low blood sugar on the ketogenic diet, which is com also completely inaccurate because when you're on the ketogenic diet and your brain is using fat as a fuel source, very infrequently do you go low blood sugar because your brain is not using glucose as a fuel source, which is what makes you go low blood sugar okay normally also your insulin output is very low and insulin is what drops blood sugar very rapidly so while you're on a ketogenic diet you very very infrequently will go low unless you're doing stupid things like sneaking carbs in which means you're you're actually not in ketosis and you're just on a low carb diet so that's another you know thing i'm, I'm sure sean you've probably experienced you know low blood sugar on a non-ketogenic diet way more than when you're on a ketogenic diet absolutely at first, I was a little skeptical about working on that keto diet, but that keto diet is the truth, you know? Because like you said, people rely on carbs as their energy source. The keto diet, we rely on that fat, baby. Keep giving yeah. me that fat. I'm going to have fuel. I'm going to have energy. I'm going to keep going. But the thing is, a lot of people are not fucking active, and they keep pushing these carbs in their body. Right. And I need another bacon. I need a, I need a fucking rice cake. I need this. I need that. You motherfuckers are clowns. You're clowns. Because number one, you're not active. So all them carbs that you're eating, they're being stored as fat, dickheads. Yeah. They're being stored as fat. Excuse my language, but a lot of you guys need to hear that, you know? So, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> so again, the keto diet, if you're a fat, obese, or someone that's really looking to get in shape, I will highly recommend that diet because right. you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. I had more energy on the keto diet than I had pushing carbs into my diet. Right, because your blood you know, sugar well, stays any left diet, Any diet that you're on, you're going to feel like shit, you're going to feel dark, you're going to be out of it, etc., etc. That comes with the territory, but only the strong survive. If you're a pussy, go play tennis. <laughs> dieting is dieting. Is dieting. The best condition athletes win, period. Mm -hmm. Do your homework. Carbs don't do nothing. If you're sitting at home all day in your fucking basement doing videos all day and eating carbs, I guarantee you, you're not taking your shirt off. <laughs> Them carbs are being stored as fat. Don't take a rocket science, right, man. Right. Well, like I said, not everyone needs to do a ketogenic diet, but the bottom line is when you're on one, your blood sugar is very stable, and that's one of the real reasons why people get have success on a ketogenic diet, because they don't get hungry, they don't get moody, because their blood sugar is not low. John, I'm sure you've experienced this. I know you diet a lot of women on ketogenic diets like I do, and it, they love it because they don't cheat. They don't have cravings and urges. They get to eat peanut butter. And they get to eat peanut butter. Sometimes too yeah, much right. peanut butter, yeah. That right there is a deal breaker. Right. Peanut butter come back to horn them, though, Dave. That <laughs> peanut butter, you know, one, you tell them one teaspoon, that one teaspoon became five and six and seven. Yeah, they got to go to Peanut Butters Anonymous, a lot of those women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I don't know what it is about peanut butter. Women what? just love peanut butter. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. I, I've thrown a few jars against the wall in my day just to get them away from certain uh, the, the female bodybuilders I was uh, dieting on the peanut butter, but... That's another story. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is that people who people claim, well, these these so-called experts say that when you're on a ketogenic diet, you don't have enough nutri you don't you don't get enough minerals and vitamins because you're not eating any fruits and vegetables. Like as if there's any vitamins in fruits and vegetables in our current society anyway. <laughs> the the soil is devoid of anything. Anyone who works out hard and trains knows you got to take multivitamins, knows you got to take essential fatty acids. You're not getting, you're not depending on on uh, the nutrition or the nutrients in the fruits and vegetables you're eating to get any sort of nutrition. Likewise, also, you know, Dr. Scott Conley, you know, quotes a lot of articles about the Inuit Indians up in the Arctic Circle that eat no carbs. They only eat the animal flesh, the fish, you know, whale blubber or whatever, seal blubber. And they have no nutritional deficiency whatsoever, and they're not taking any multivitamins up there, John. What, what, yeah, I always this is my standard phrase when when I, when I'm confronted with such a moronic statement, and it is this: we have essential fats that we must get from our diet. If we don't get them and go for long without them long enough, we will get sick. We could possibly die. There are essential amino acids that we must get from our diet. Our body does not synthesize them. If we go without them long enough, we will get sick. You could possibly die. There is no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. Right. You could completely stop eating them forever, and your body wouldn't even know it. No. So it's absolutely ridiculous to think that there's any 
thing in a carbohydrate that that is in any way termed essential to human uh, physiology. It is absolutely the opposite. Carbohydrates are completely unnecessary, and fa good fats and proteins certainly are. So. Anybody who says such a moronic statement deserves to eat a baked potato. And, and, and think about it. Baked potatoes don't really have a lot of nutrients in them anyway. So even if you're looking for minerals and vitamins, you're gonna, even if you're eating carbohydrates, you're still taking multivitamin, multimineral. You're taking your essential fatty acid supplements because you, you can't depend on that to be in food. So to say that a ketogenic diet is devoid of, of minerals and vitamins is, 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 is bull crap. Sean oh, Allen... I mean, I'm sure your whole career you've been taking vitamins and minerals because you know when you exercise at an elite level, you need to supplement. Absolutely. But at the same time, a lot of people think that they're getting the vitamins from the food, which they're not because they're overcooking the food. Yes. So before they even had a chance to indulge in the vitamins, it's been already taken out. You already washed them out. So, again, take your vitamins, guys. You're not just getting it from food. You know, I know the big pills. I know the multivitamins are huge. They suck. But guess what? They're beneficial. Yeah. We they take them anyway. We all take them anyway. What's the difference what right. diet you're on? It's true. It's true. I don't know why. You know what it is, though? These people, like, um, are trying to do – like, and I know Sean is going to eat this up. These people are trying to do these sensationalistic videos to get hits to their social media so that people say, ooh, look how smart these guys are. Whoa, I didn't know that. I'm going to tune into their channel and subscribe because they must know what they're talking about. And a lot of these guys, and I know, Sean, this is going to drive you nuts. They put the glasses on. You know they don't wear glasses, up, these people. These bodybuilders, they don't wear glasses, but they put them on for the fucking YouTube videos to make themselves look smarter, like the nutty <laughs> professor. <laughs> Right? You the see it. Got 20, they got 20, 20 vision, yeah, but yeah. they need glasses. <laughs> I didn't, I'm like, I didn't even know that guy wore glasses. And he you doesn't. know why, though? Think about it, though, Dave. Think about it. They was bodybuilders before, right? Yeah. Now they, they try to use their bodybuilding for a hustle, so they put their glasses on so they look more knowledgeable. They right. look more presentable. They yeah. look like they got more Princeton education. <laughs> right. You know? It's like a subterfuge. Exactly. All he's doing is 52 fake out. You, you don't even need glasses, but you wear your glasses and try to sound so professional. But yet you sound like an asshole in general. Take your glasses off, motherfucker. John and I need glasses, and we don't wear them. We, right, there oh, he is. John. John. I now I know you talk, John. Ask me anything. I will tell you the truth. Yeah. Now you look like, a, you know, you look like a, one of these guys who does a PhD theses, right? <laughs> All I need is a satchel and a pair of boots. Yeah. <laughs> and a pipe. Remember back in the day, my, I know your dad had to smoke a pipe, John, right? If he did for a while. My dad did too, because he had to be the nutty, my dad had to be like the professor, you know? Yeah. It'd be cool. Sean yeah, Allen, I think you should start he, smoking he a pipe. Part, you know, the psychiatrist with the pipe, you know, it was yeah. in the 60s. That's true. Yeah. yeah, your dad had to have that. Yeah, 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 he did. He had it, he was, he had it going on. Nowadays, though, it's not cool to smoke a pipe. You got you to gotta vape nowadays, right? They ain't smoking no pipes now. They're they smoking trees, my man. Yeah, it's all smoking about vaping, pipes. though. It's all vaping now. You, you, oh, they weed, yes, they vape. They blazing. They ain't worried about no pipe. That's old-fashioned. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Pretty soon, you'll just be <laughs> sucking <laughs> air out of the air. You'll be, getting, you'll be smoking the air that we breathe, right? They'll find out that there's some kind of... Uh, natural opioid in the air, and they'll they'll be selling air in bottles. Remember, years ago, John, people thought no way would they ever sell water. Who would be stupid enough to buy a bottle of water? They'll be selling air pretty soon, clean air. Suck this in here, you'll you'll live longer. People will be buying air all day long. There was a Saturday Night Live skit a long time ago when the first show when the show first started, you know, in the seventies. Right. And there were there was a parody on Halloween. They were going trick or treating, mm. and the trick or treaters come to the door, and I forget which actors were playing what. And they and the guy in the the homeowner gives them a choice: a piece of candy or or a little test tube full of fresh water. <laughs> and they we'll take the water. <laughs> <laughs> but when were we walking around with these? I mean, this is you know, this is fairly new. Number last... one selling skew for Coca Cola and Pepsi: water. Yeah, it's bottled water. Yeah, it's it, you know. It, Everywhere, in the, all over the world, it's bottled water. And, you know, we were never, I mean, when, when did we start doing this? I mean, what happened? Who was, 
And when Arnold was competing, they weren't carrying water around. No, and I'm convinced that they most of these companies just they turn the tap on in their warehouse and they fill the bottles up with that <laughs> right out of the tap. That is so, one, of, one of those companies was caught doing that in New York. Yeah. The water was coming right out of the tap. Well, New York's got good water. Why not put it in there, right? New York tap water is really yeah. good. Yeah, I'm saying just fill the bottles. It's probably better than what you're getting you know, out of the ground. Right. But anyway, well, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to educate our viewership. Once in a while, we, don't, we, we bitch and we educate at the same time. So uh, I know Sean had a lot of, uh, a lot of um, I guess you could say, experience with the ketogenic diet. And he hates people that, that are liars and, and who are, wear you know, fake masks on them and do videos trying to portray themselves as being something that they're not. Uh, Big Sean, you're looking real good. Uh, I, I think we're going to see you on stage. I think you're planning a comeback secretly. There you go again, trying to watch my movements, my man. It ain't nobody that can predict what my next move is. Let me ask you a question, you. though. My How next you get... move will always be my best move, but I don't never go online and publicize it. You, you bad must, boy, Sean, bad boys move in silence. You must have good joints. Face. You got to have, have good shoulder joints. To look and feel good, all right? It's a lifestyle. I know it's good to talk about the classic physique, you know, bodybuilding. And like I told you guys in my last video, I can... I know you guys want me to retire. I want to retire. But at the same time, I control my destiny. If I want to come out and retire, take my shirt off, it's all there, guys. If you don't believe me, go to my Instagram page. You'll see. Ain't no filters in there. I'm one of the realest ones on this fucking YouTube. You, I've been the same way for years. Last video, all these punks online. So, oh, look, look at this shirt. Look at this shirt. You punk motherfuckers. You talking about my shirt. It'd be your girls, it'd be your girls that be the one looking at me and in my DMs. Talking about my shirt. You punk motherfuckers ain't got no class or swag. All right? So that's why I don't reply to y'all because I'm a man. I come on camera and call you motherfuckers punks. You never can be me. Okay? So I'm back again on RX Muscle so you motherfuckers can get your motherfucking balls wet and y'all can start pounding. But you know what? I won't reply to none of that because that's your page, Dave. I respect your page. Thank you. I don't got to answer with no losers. But I appreciate you for having me on. John, I haven't seen you in a while, my man. It sucks that we have to connect online and shit and fucking Skype. But, you know, it's a small world. It's good to see you still involved, my man. And it was nice talking to you. Dave, I wish you continued success, right. man. Don't even worry about these other channels out there. <laughs> They're a bunch of nobodies. All right. Well, Sean, we love you. We love you, Big Sean Allen. Thank you for joining us, John. Well, As always, thank you. Time. And, uh... That takes us to the end of another uh, installment of Iron Rage, the show where we finally release our bent up tensions for the day. I can sleep nicely. <laughs> and Big Sean Allen is, is doing a little gay for pay <laughs> on, on the show at the same time to get us a few extra views. We'll see you next week. We yeah. out.